Hey what's up everyone, Saints fan back again with another GTA 5 video. Today I'll be going over all of the clothing glitches, all of the working clothing glitches after patch 1.38, after the special stunt vehicle races patch. There are actually quite a few and some of them actually are a little bit different than in previous updates. So hopefully this video helps you guys out if you're looking to make some really cool outfits for your characters in GTA Online. The one thing I will start with, the cop outfit and the trash outfit, and even the juggernaut outfit. Now, I believe, because on my PS4 character, the character I actually had the juggernaut outfit saved on in Free Roam, the outfit is still there. So they didn't delete the juggernaut outfit from me. But what ends up happening if you do the juggernaut outfit glitch to get it to save, it actually disappears. Sometimes it disappears once you get back into Free Roam, sometimes it disappears once you switch lobbies. But it seems like they they have figured out a way, at the moment at least, to block people from getting the Juggernaut outfit. And that also goes for the cop outfit and the trash man outfit. I believe if you like still have them, you should be good. But at this point, it's kind of random. But they have also done the same thing where if you do the glitch with the cop outfit, you can actually get it into like whatever lobby you spawn into. But even if you save it, the minute you switch lobbies, it's going to delete the outfit. So... It's, it, I don't know why they do this. I said that every freaking update, but unless like in the next, the military update, they're going to be bringing out a police outfit that we can actually buy. I don't know why they keep doing this because it literally harms no one. And it just, it makes it more fun for people because then we can have cooler outfits. We can have a trash man outfit. We can have a policeman outfit. We can have a juggernaut outfit, but then they got to patch it. So I, that's kind of the unfortunate part. That's the thing I wanted to lead with. So if you're looking for glitches on how to get the police outfit, the trash man outfit, or the juggernaut outfit, unfortunately at the moment, you can't get them. And I don't know if we'll ever be able to get them again since it seems Rockstar have sort of blacklisted them from the outfit section. So with that being said, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of it. I, obviously, it's it's really unfortunate, but I guess, you know, we'll just have to either wait for another glitch to be found or just deal with the fact that we're not going to be able to have those outfits in online. Now, getting into the glitches. These are in no particular order, but I'll just go through the order I recorded them in. So the first one is how to actually get the black joggers or really any colored joggers. The reason I chose black though is because a lot of people use the black joggers for a bunch of different outfits. You know, they're, they're a really versatile pair of pants and they look kind of cool. But you can do this with any of the other joggers, whether it be purple, orange, pink, you know, whatever the other colors are. It's really easy to do. The one to get the black joggers, we're going to go ahead and start up the mission Turf Wars 3. And make sure you actually pick that one because I believe it requires the least amount of people. So once you start it up, go ahead and invite a friend. Unfortunately, I actually got put into a random lobby, but it still works because it's it's really easy to do. Once you get into the lobby, once you get into the car here, go to your interaction menu, go to the very bottom of the style section and go to illuminated clothing. And from here, just spam right on the D-pad, you know, for 10 to 20 seconds. You'll see it scroll through the off pulse and flash options. Once you do that for, like I said, 10 to 20 seconds, then what we're going to do, if you're on the PS4, it's super simple, uh, and I'll show that method first. So go to the, you know, hit the home button, and then pick any of these video apps. You know, you can pick Amazon, Netflix, YouTube, whatever the case may be, and what it'll say is, like, are you sure you want to suspend your application? You say yes. Uh, it might give you an error about the HDCP, but that doesn't really matter. Hit OK, and then go back into GTA and it'll say connection to the session was lost and then just hit a from there and boom you will load in to free roam with the outfit that you were just wearing in the adversary mode like i said if you want you can choose another adversary mode that gives you another pair of pants but for the sake of the video i just did the one with the black joggers now if you're not on the ps4 if you're on the xbox one or the pc you're actually just gonna have to sit there and go afk because there is no way to suspend the application like there is on the PS4. So, you know, if you're on the PC, tab out. If you're on the Xbox One, then just wait. I think it's five to 10 minutes and then you'll lag out and you'll have the outfit saved in free roam. From there, just go save it at the, you know, your nearest outfit store and then you can customize it to your liking. Next up, this is actually how to get the duffel bag. Nothing has really changed too much on this front. It's the same mission, asset seizure. 
and that is the Phantom Wedge special vehicle mission. So you are going to have to either have a friend or source 15 or I think it's 16 cars yourself to unlock this mission. But I would imagine most people have this mission unlocked if you've been playing the Import Export DLC you know, fairly frequently. So go ahead and start it up. You're only going to need one other player to do this. And once you get into the mission, you know, just land if you're starting in the helicopter. And then go into the inventory. Go to body armor. Go to show armor and then just switch it to anything. I just put the black armor on. And then stay in the interaction menu. Go back. Go to style. And then switch to any mask. It does not matter which one. And then from here, just fail the mission. You know, have your friend kill himself a few times if you're playing on easy or normal. If you're playing on hard, he just needs to kill himself once. And it'll say, you know, mission failed, blah, blah, blah. And then once you load after this, you load back into free roam. And boom, you have the duffel bag. From there, obviously, go to the outfit store and save it. And one thing that's really awesome, you can actually use that duffel bag on that outfit and put the duffel bag on any other outfit. To do that with the outfit you just saved with the duffel bag, go ahead and hop into a helicopter. Now, just fly, you know, as high as you can so you have some time between you and the ground. Jump out, open your parachute, and then quickly go into the interaction menu and then hover over whatever outfit you want to switch the duffel bag to, whatever outfit you want to put it on. And this is where timing is going to be a little tricky. It's not super hard. I got it on my first try. Right as you land on the ground and right as your guy takes off the parachute, hit A to switch to the outfit you want the duffel bag on, and it will glitch the duffel bag on to that outfit. So you can do that as many times as you want to get the duffel bag on as many outfits as you want. So that's really easy, and that's really awesome because you just need to do the duffel bag glitch once to get it on a saved outfit, and then boom, you have it for every other outfit. Next up, this is how to get the bodyguard outfits. This is really simple. So you're going to need a CEO, and you're going to need him to invite you to his organization. Then go ahead and tell him to pick whatever outfit you want. For the sake of this video, I'm going to pick the black armor. You can see what I'm wearing. And then go into your yacht and go into the shower in your yacht. Now, this only works at the yacht shower for some reason, but go ahead and get in. And right as your guy is getting in, you can see, tell your friend to dismiss you. Once he dismisses you, then get out the shower and boom, you are now wearing the bodyguard outfit, even though you're not in his organization. And from there, you just go ahead and save it and you can customize that one to your liking. So fairly simple. Next one, I'm sure everyone knows this by now, but this is how to wear a, a mask with glasses. It doesn't actually work with a hat anymore, but it's really easy. First off, equip whatever glasses you want and then go ahead and save that outfit. Next up, go to the pier, go to any of like the telescope things and then pour some gasoline on the ground leading up to the telescope. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is switch to whatever mask you want with those glasses and then shoot the gasoline all while hitting right on the D-pad so your guy will actually glitch the mask off, but he will catch on fire. So you walk away a little bit to the right, and while you're not wearing anything on your head, go ahead and switch to the outfit that you just saved with the glasses, walk like two feet away, and then bam, you will have glasses with the mask. From there, just go ahead and save it. Next one, if you want to actually wear a mask with a bulletproof helmet or with a biker helmet, because some of the masks actually don't allow you to do that, it's really easy. You just got to become a CEO. But the first part or the first step is to pick whatever mask you want and then save that outfit. You can see I'm going to pick the uh, this like creepy Halloween-esque mask. And when I go to the, the, he the helmet section, you can see it doesn't actually work. Like the, the mask disappears if I try and put any of the helmets on. So to get those two together, become a CEO. You're going to need a bike also. Come to this corner or, you know, just park outside, like right outside of the door to one of the clothing shops. At this point, make sure whatever helmet you want is the one that you put on when you get on a bike. So that's the bike helmet option in the interaction menu. I'm going to use the black bulletproof helmet, but you can pick whatever one you want. Next up, go or get on your bike and then go to the... Securo serve management section and then we're gonna go ahead and switch the style I believe it's three or two times to the left and you will notice your guy actually starts to put on The black bulletproof helmet quickly before he does put it on so go ahead and hit right on the d-pad twice So it puts it back to none 
and you will see it glitches the bulletproof helmet with whatever mask you choose. And then from here, you're gonna need to be quick, but just back out, quickly run into the store, save the outfit, you know, at the nearest pot spot you can save it. And then after that, save it again at the outfit counter, because I believe it takes two times for it to properly save. And then boom, you have the outfit you want. This next one is how to get the pilot headset. It's super simple. You're gonna need a yacht with the any helicopter that puts on a pilot headset. So just go ahead. I mean, I'm in this helicopter. You can see that comes with my yacht. Park over the hot tub. So you're wearing hot tub clothing in the helicopter. Hop out and then walk away and boom, your outfit should appear now with the pilot headset. For this one, I believe you can save it in your yacht, but just to be safe, I would go to like a gun store or something to save the outfit. And then the last one, this also involves the yacht. This is how to get the night vision goggles glitched to be able to wear on any outfit with anything. It's really simple. Go ahead and wear the night vision goggles and then put some, uh, some sticky bombs on the stairs here, like by your yacht. I would put a few, like more than one, definitely, because you're going to need to have your body fly out of the yacht, basically, or out of the hot tub. So after you put the sticky bombs down, go over or, you know, stand on top of the sticky bombs and then hit the right or left on the D-pad, whatever it, whatever it is to blow them up. And you'll notice in the death screen, you'll see your character wearing the glitched night vision goggles. And then from here, you should respawn with them. And you can't actually save these in your yacht. You actually have to go to a gun store to save this. But once you're in the gun store, just go ahead and save it to whatever outfit. And then to get the night vision goggles on any other outfit, you equip that outfit first. And then you pick any other outfit and it'll glitch those goggles on. And one thing that's kind of cool, it actually makes you have a bald head, like an actual bald head, which you can't get normally in online. So I thought that's pretty cool in addition to the night vision goggles on any outfit. But those are all the glitches. There were quite a few. If you have any questions, you know, ask away in the comment section. If there are any other ones I missed, then, you know, you can let people know in the comment section as well. But hopefully this video helps you guys out. Thank you all. Please drop a, a like if you did enjoy. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.